two and three teams in class 1A separated by just 10 minutes. The Yellow Jackets and the Bobcats. Let's get to it. Luke Trees rolling out for Colefield, one of the best quarterbacks in all of 1A. Fires a prayer to the end zone. Waylon Burgess has it. Touchdown Jackets. They're back with the ball. Trees keeps it himself down the sidelines. Trees to the house. Oliver Springs, though, trying to get back in it, driving down the field here. Here's a nice tackle from the Coalfield defense. Jackson Jett makes the catch there. And then the Bobcats muscle their win, way in for a score, but it's not enough tonight. Coalfield is the region 2-1A champion. 34-25, the Yellow Jackets avenge that playoff loss from a year ago. State Volleyball Tournament continuing today in Murfreesboro. Here's a look at today's results. Creekwood defeated Anderson County in the second round. Brentwood eliminates two of our area teams. First, it's Farragut in the quarterfinals, and this one went final just moments ago. Maryville's season comes to an end in the semifinals. The Lady Rebels finished third in the state. We also had the state soccer tournament happening in Murfreesboro. Bearden is off to the state championship game. A 4-0 win over Page. And the Webb Spartans defeat Harpeth Hall 1-0. They will play in the state championship tomorrow. For over half a decade, the Our Place Art Organization has raised money to serve those with disabilities in the Knoxville area. They hold workshops, trainings, and create opportunities for individuals with disabilities. Tonight was one of the organization's biggest events, Striking for Awareness. It's formerly been known as Bowl for Autism. It's under its first year, under its new name, at Maple Hall in downtown Knoxville. Biggest crowd in the history of the six-year event. Those with the event tell me that the unemployment rate for autistic adults is between 85 and 90 percent, which makes tonight's event, which helps those on the spectrum, secure employment opportunities so important. I call them my friends with superpowers, and they definitely deserve employment. They want to earn money. They like to buy things just like we like to buy things. I think today's society is more accepting than it used to be, but still, it's important to get out there and say, hey, you know, this isn't really a disability. It's just a different way of living. There's more to life than just, you know, having autism. You can be a successful person. You can have a career. You can be a human being. Not only are these kids and young adults that have autism, not only are they learning the soft skills, not only are they learning hard skills, they're learning how it feels to be able to contribute, but then every single person that comes into contact with them is learning something from them. Being accepted for who you are, what you can bring, what you can offer, whether it's at school, in your community, on the job, it's about being a part of um, the community. All the folks that you heard from right there, they help employ those on the autism spectrum. There was a silent auction. You're taking a look at some of the items available there. Anything that was not auctioned off this evening will be available on the organization's website. You can find out more at ourplaceart.com. Tennessee soccer closing out the home portion of its schedule this evening against 22nd ranked North or South Carolina. Rather, big time result for the Lady Vols. A 1-1 draw that breaks a three game losing streak. Tennessee currently on the bubble for the SEC tournament. They will travel to Lexington to face Kentucky on Thursday. In the ring, there's nowhere to hide. You gotta be strong. Marsha steps into the ring for Tennessee every day, blasting China, fighting inflation, and defending our border like a heavyweight champ. I'm Marsha Blackburn and I approve this message. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude, that doesn't look good. I know what to do. I'm going to castnetusa.com. I can apply minutes, and if approved, I can have the money as soon as the same business day. Go to castnetusa.com to apply for the money you need. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'm gonna be fine. Bye.
Courtney, hi. Hey, how are you guys? We're getting by. Great, me too. Can we call you back? You never want to lose your edge. This is an SUV that really understands that. The Lexus RX. The Rooms to Go storewide sofa sale ends Monday. Hurry in to get big savings and endless sofa possibilities. A huge selection of sofas are on sale. Save on fabric sofas, sleeper sofas, plush leather sofas, sectionals, and reclining sofas. Great sofas priced low to sell fast. And only Rooms to Go offers an opportunity like this. So shop the Rooms to Go storewide sofa sale now through Monday. Find your perfect sofa. Halloween shrinkflation? Bags of chocolate are going to be smaller for the same price. What happened to all the chocolate in your candy? This is little. Next, Inside Edition. Tonight at 11.30 on The CW Knoxville. In the ring, there's nowhere to hide. You gotta be strong. Marsha steps into the ring for Tennessee every day. Blasting China, fighting inflation, and defending our border like a heavyweight champ. I'm Marsha Blackburn, and I approve this message. Next ET stars step out to celebrate San